All right, this one's gonna be on SSHFS. It's a way to mount your network shares or network drive, or they call it NFS, your network file systems, uh, using SSH. So you can do this over the internet or, you know, within your home over Wi-Fi or whatever. It's up to you, not an issue. And it's very similar to SSH because it is using SSH uh, in a way. So what you need to do is uh, install Open SSH because that's what you need. And the other package that you need is SSHFS, which is what we're going to use right now. Um, as far as the what we need to do is we actually need to create an empty folder, and that will be a mount point on our native machine. So we're going to do mkdir, and we're going to make a folder in our home folder, and we're just going to call this one uh, remote. Okay, we we'll call it remote, and it creates a folder in our home folder there. And as far as the syntax for SSHFS, it's just SSHFS and then the username of the remote machine. So this is my remote machine's uh, computer name. Uh, and then the IP is 192.168.1.100. And then uh, colon, and then where you want uh, or which uh, path you want to mount uh, to our local machine. So usually I like to use this single quotes here because I don't know if the path is going to be uh, spaces or not, so I like to use single quotes here. So normally you can uh, mount your root file like this, right? Or you can do like a home, you can mount like that, or you can do media. Now the reason why I like using the single quotes is because if there's a space in between your name or your uh, your path, whatever, like let's say for example it says like my share here, and you see there's a, uh, a space right here, right? Uh, that will fuck it up. And that's why you, I want to use the uh, single quotes because that will bypass any spaces. Anyways, uh, let's just mount our uh, media only. Okay, mount that sucker. And we want to mount it to the folder that we just created, which is this folder here, right? Our remote folder. So that's all you're going to do. Just put that in there. And then you have to hit enter. And then you type in your password on that machine. Uh, and there you go. You mounted it. And then all you got to do is bust out your. Um, was that your um, your file system here and you can see our uh, was that we call it remote here and there you go and see that this mounts our uh, my uh, media folder in my uh, on my server and I can go into there and I can actually watch these videos too if I wanted to here we go All right so there you go you can access your files your movies uh, pictures it's kind of like plugging in your USB stick, but we're not plugging in any USB stick here. We're just going to mount it from, uh, you know, over our Wi-Fi or Internet or whatever. Uh, and, and that's how you do that. Real simple. And I actually use this more than I use uh, Samba or DLNA or whatever. I use it like that and I watch my movies. And I've been doing that for like the last six or seven months. Uh, however, I, I set up to a different setup now. So anyways, that is SSHFS. Pretty simple. And oh yeah, one more thing to unmount it because all we did was uh, mount it in. Now you can unmount it from the GUI because right here, right? You can actually connect to it from here, but you can't really disconnect. It will just say fail every time, especially on uh, I guess this uh, file manager. So to unmount it from the the, the command line is real simple. It's just called f uh, I guess f user mount, and you do a uh, dash u. And the one that we want to unmount was this one, right? This remote file. So we're just going to unmount that. And there you go. You don't have to mount anymore. And to confirm this, let's open it again, right? We don't have that remote uh, drives anymore, okay? So that's how you unmount and mount using SSHFS. Pretty cool tool if you didn't know about it. And if you already know how to use SSH, you're going to catch on real quick. Uh, other than that, that's it for SSHFS.